fragments of genes that hundreds of researchers from around the world collected from 100,000 animal species and accumulated in the gene database GenBank of the U.S. government. The DNA barcoding is a phylogenetic method of identifying species from sequences of DNA using short gene markers. The research team of Dr. Mark Stokel at Rockefeller University in New York and Dr. David Thaler at Basel University in Switzerland thought of thoroughly investigating 5 million markers of this short gene called DNA barcode. And they executed it. Dr. Stokel, lead author of the paper published in the International Journal Journal of Human Evolution and Human Evolutionary, told that the living things were not evolving. There are 7.6 billion people, 5 billion house sparrows, and 100,000 sandpipers in the world, but genetic diversity is almost the same, he told AFP's interview. The research revealed that 90% of all the species on the Earth today including humans, appeared 200,000 to 100,000 years ago. It means that 90% of the animal species are about the same age from a genetic standpoint. Unlike nuclear DNA genes, which can vary greatly among creature species, mitochondrial DNA has a common DNA sequence that all animals possess, which provides a sharing standard for comparison. At that time, the research team analyzed the DNA barcodes of 100,000 creature species and found out the clear evidence that most animals appeared almost at the same time as humans. They found that there was no variation in neutral gene mutations. Did any catastrophic event that almost destroyed most of the species occurred 200,000 years ago? What is the reason why overwhelming majority of existing species have appeared almost at the same time? The revolution cycle of the solar system 10th planet Nibiru is about 3,924 years. Around December 200 and 2037 BC, planet Nibiru approached the Sun from the southern hemisphere of the Earth. After planet Nibiru passed through the perihelion in the second half of 200 and 2035 BC, passing between Mars and Jupiter in 200 and 2033 BC, it approached the northern hemisphere of the Earth from the diagonally upper part of the Earth's Arctic. It was closest to the Earth in late June, pouring a lot of the energy of planet Nibiru into the Earth from June to October, and gradually moved away. And it seems that a pole shift occurred in the summer of 200 and 2031 BC. Also, the following is my consideration. Around 200 and 2100 BC, in planet Nibiru, the atmosphere and geothermal flowed out into outer space and there were in danger of life extinction. In order to stop the spill, they had to cover the planet with golden particles, but there were no gold in planet Nibiru. So, Nibiru people decided to mine gold in South Africa on the Earth. Since Nibiru people were hydrogen sulfide breathing intellectual life entities, they had to create a biological robot for mining gold, using their genetic engineering technology. Therefore, when a pole shift occurred on the Earth, they decided to almost destroy creatures on the Earth and create new creatures. Around 200 and 2050 BC, Nibiru people came to South Africa on the Earth to be mined gold. Then, they built a base there. Using their genetic engineering, they added genetic manipulation to the DNA of the local monkey person, and created a new creature, primitive African Homo erectus, of oxygen-breathing type creature to mine gold. There was a super-ancient city from 200,000 BC to 160,000 BC, with a large area of 1,500 square kilometers at 150 kilometers west of the Maputo Bay in South Africa. Speaking of South Africa, it is a major gold mining site, which is also surrounded by gold mining mountains. The ground paintings that are thought to have been produced by super ancient people are still scattered around here, but the local people seems not to be concerned much. However, the importance gradually became apparent by the investigation of Mr. Michael Tellinger, a writer, who was interested in the place. Nibiru people would have let the primitive African Homo erectus mine gold and let them build an ancient city. Footprints of giants and megalithic remains that are not suitable for the times have been found all over the world. 
It would be the evidence that other creatures different from humans on the Earth had advanced civilizations in the distant past. And, under the project of Nibiru people, they used the time of the pole shift to kill the creatures on the Earth. In addition, Nibiru people would have used their genetic engineering technology to create new creatures on the Earth again. It seems that the event like it happened several times on the Earth.